Hi, uh, this is uh, Sunil. Uh, we are uh, in my house today. The laptop you are seeing here is powered from the solar panels right above this uh, laptop. Uh, this is an off grid uh, system. The entire critical loads of this house including this laptop is uh, run from the off grid uh, system. Uh, we have earlier installed an on grid system in the same site. I have already made a video about that. It is there in the description below. But as you know the on grid systems work only when there is a grid power. So, now it is bright in the afternoon around 1 30 uh, pm. There is a uh, good sunshine now, but if the utility company cuts off the power for some reason, we will not be making use of our on grid system. To compensate this, we have a separate off grid system. Uh, we have installed a 1.5 kilowatt off grid system to power our uh, critical loads. Uh, critical loads also includes the refrigerator and the pump. So, we will run through the uh, off grid system installation and explain its. Uh, it's it's working. So uh, as you just saw, this is a, a 1.5 kilowatt uh, off-grid system consisting of uh, four panels of polycrystalline uh, make. The power from the solar panel is DC is converted to AC power in a inverter. We have used a 2.7 kilowatt um, hybrid inverter for this purpose. We will just run through the different components and the working of the system. The solar off grid system is just not about installing panels and inverters and doing the wiring. The first part of the solar power system is to actually increase the energy efficiency. More, more than that we need to reduce the consumption in the first point. The second point is to increase the efficiency of the electrical systems in the, in the house. Uh, we have done quite a few of them, we will just run through uh, uh, two or three. One is uh, we have installed a BLDC fans to that are they are very efficient uh, brushless DC motor fans which reduces the consumption of the motor in the fan. Second we have uh, actually done a white painting on the roof that keeps the building uh, a, a little uh, cool. We have also changed the kitchen tap to a low head uh, shower that can actually reduce the water consumption thereby the pumping also. Uh, gets uh, reduced. So, these are uh, a few of energy efficiency measures that we have actually taken uh, in this house even before installing the off grid solar power plant. So, now we come to the uh, inverter portion of the setup. So, this is our off grid inverter and this is our array junction box or a AJB. This inverter can take a maximum of 50 volts uh, DC. So, since we have got uh, 4 panels each of about uh, 38 volts of open circuit voltage, we have made it into 4 strings. So, all the 4 panels are connected in parallel. Since there are 4 strings, there are 4 fuses on the positive side, 4 fuses on the negative side. From here, the uh, power goes into a surge protection device or a SPD. From there, gets into a DC MCB. So, output from this box comes through this wire and gets connected to this inverter. This is a 24 volt system. So, we have got uh, 2 batteries of 150 AH. This 2 batteries are connected in series to make a 24 volts. The battery is connected to this inverter through this fuse. The output of this inverter, this is the DC. The DC gets into the inverter. The output that is the AC output gets into this box. Here, the, we have got a MCB, we have got a surge protection device and another MCB. We have got a meter as well. This measures various parameters of the output. So, the current voltage is about 217 uh, and 0.46 is the load and so on. The another feature of this inverter is if required, one can also connect this to the grid. So, this is the portion uh, for the grid side input. Currently, it is switched off. If required, this can be switched on and the batteries can be also charged through the grid power. I will just show that uh, in a while. But before that, uh, we will look at some features of this inverter. So, this is about uh, 2.7 kilowatt inverter. We have however connected only 1.3 kilowatt of uh, panels. This can maximum support about 2.7 kilowatt of load. Uh, this comes with some uh, pretty cool features. Uh, so, one can monitor a lot of parameters through a mobile app. I will quickly run through that. So, uh, so this is our uh, mobile app. So, now you can see a uh, various uh, parameters here. Mains is not available. Battery is approximately 100 percentage. You are running 8 percentage load. So, this has got uh, many features. This is the uh, main dashboard. 
uh, we can check our uh, uh, solar uh, production here. So, now roughly it is about uh, 2 o'clock, the sun is about here. This shows the, uh, the generation so far and yesterday's generation, it also has got some uh, predictive features like you know we can plan for the next few days, it gives an approximate forecast. And we can go to the smart settings where we can do a lot of user defined uh, settings. We can uh, even though I just showed you that the mains are off, we can also control that mains through our uh, mobile app here. We can control the charging, if there is uh, charging required we can turn on the turbo mode. We can put the appliance mode, suppose if you are running uh, heavy equipment we can uh, put the appliance mode. Uh, there is reserve power and we can also put the holiday range, suppose no one is at home we can also put into holiday range. Now we can set some alarm settings like you know at what at what juncture that there should be uh, alarm and uh, this is a very cool feature this shows the usage. So you can see this graph uh, this is showing the usage that is almost real time usage. So uh, as you saw our load is actually pretty low. So you, you can come here the load which is about uh, it is showing now about 80, 80 watts of uh, load. I will just show you in this uh, graph suppose now I will just switch on the pump and see how this graph actually uh, changes. So now we go 3, 2, 1, yes we made that and now uh, the graph should change, see now the gra graph has shot up. Now the pump is on, so the, uh, the load profile just increased, now we are uh, about 30 percent on the load. Now I will uh, put up a drilling machine with that, so this is got the drilling machine. So now I will just switch it on, switch on the drilling machine. I also have the drilling machine connected to that, so let me just see uh, what happens if I switch on the drilling machine. Now I switch off the pump and the, the load should drop. So these are some of the features available with the with the inverter. You can also go to switch setting where you know a lot of parameter can be actually selected here. Like you know we can uh, set it to a UPS mode or a normal mode. We can actually set the daytime usage like you know how much of uh, solar should be taken, how much of the grid should be taken. In our case the grid is not connected but if you want we can connect the grid and also uh, show you know how much the, the inverter should draw from the grid and how much from the solar and at what time it should run from solar and what time it should run from the grid. A lot of user defined settings can be done. So uh, it is a pretty versatile uh, system and um, we can come here as I, uh, as I told you we have got uh, two parts. This is the grid side, this is the uh, output side. I will just for the academic interest switch on the grid side and just show it you what it is. So now uh, this is our uh, uh, the AC box, so this is the output from the inverter. As I told you if we want we can also give a grid input, you know if we switch this on this inverter also takes the input from the grid, say when there is uh, no solar or if we want to uh, optimize the battery we can also choose to switch on the grid. I showed you the, uh, the usage settings which you can see on the uh, phone. Uh, we have also given a meter for uh, monitoring uh, because at some at many sites we may not be having the internet connection so it becomes important to monitor one's consumption and also one's uh, production of the energy. So this is the meter which gives various parameters that is the current output load from the inverter, the current load on the inverter see it is almost about 79.6, uh, the total watt hour or the kilowatt hour with this inverter generated, current the, the load is drawing at what frequency and at what PF. I will again switch on the pump and uh, a drilling machine and we will see how this meter actually uh, changes. Can you please switch on the pump and we will now see the, the increase in the, in the current and the wattage. So here I go, now the pump is on. So as expected the, the load and the current both have increased, see now the load is about 367 uh, watts. I will now also switch on the drilling machine. 
so we will see uh, how much the power consumption uh, goes up this is 650 watt uh, uh, drilling machine uh, now i switch on the drilling machine so as i uh, i told you this inverter can also take the grid input you know for example if there is no solar power this can also charge the battery through the grid input see this is the grid grid side again the grid side we have given a meter and some uh, protective uh, devices uh, anyway we have kept it kept the grid power off by by default uh, you can come to actually our main panel and see the uh, the output see for example as i told you we also have on grid power uh, in, in 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 this house See now this actually there is no grid power, see the grid power is not there, the utility power guys have actually cut off the grid power. But the beauty of solar is that the off grid power is still running at uh, 216 volts. See the heating is off of course and the on grid power, the on grid system is also off. Now the on grid system works only when the grid power is available. Now as we speak the grid power is not available but all the loads are being serviced by our off grid system. In fact, that is the beauty of solar, the versatility of solar actually lies in actually powering places where there is uh, no grid power. So in this house, no matter we have got grid or we do not have grid, it just really does not matter because at any given point of time, we can be running all our critical loads on our solar power. As you saw, we run our pump, drilling machine, refrigerator, all the lights, fans, TV, all the other critical loads like our server and the internet, everything runs on the off grid power. So when the grid actually returns, when we actually have the grid power back from the utility company, I will show you the input from the grid side to the inverter, till that time we will take a short break. A uh, few hours we have uh, got the grid power back, you can see here the grid is uh, back now. But what you can observe is the grid voltage is about uh, 234 volts, but our off grid solar is around 216 volts. So, this is uh, uh, you know the off grid system is completely insulated from any of the grid fluctuations and grid problems. So, that is another advantage of an off grid uh, system. But you can see now the on grid and the uh, uh, grid is almost at the same voltage. Now, I will deliberately trip the uh, grid and uh, we will show it show you what actually happens now uh, i will switch off the grid power now the grid power is off so now because the grid is off we have our on grid also off and of course the grid is not there so we are still, still running on the off grid solution at about 217 volts let me just uh, switch on the grid back and i will take you to the inverter and i will switch on the grid supply into the inverter and I will show you uh, what happens there. So we are, uh, so we are back here at our uh, uh, inverter. So as I told you, the grid power is by default kept off. We can actually switch it on. Uh, really, nothing really happens if you switch it on. So we are just switching it on. Again, a meter is there to measure some of the grid input uh, parameters. Like uh, so, now the grid is on but there is enough and more solar power available so you can see the input taken from the grid is zero the voltage is uh, zero the current drawn is zero though the input voltage from the grid is about 237 volts you can see the output is 218 volts the inverter conditions the power so that the output voltage is maintained anyway now these two are actually isolated because there is nothing being drawn from the grid actually. So, as I told you by default we want to keep it off. Thank you, this is all about the off grid power.